I'm Mike Sullivan. In this video, we're going to talk about situational awareness. If you ever watch football and television, you know that the coaches and the quarterback especially, they have certain plays that they will run in certain situations, and a good football coach is always aware of what situation he is in. Well, you're your own coach, and so you have to know what your situation is and how to play it. Coming up next, right after this drone video shot by Madeline. Okay, so I am practicing right now with my fairway wood, with my three wood, because what I'm doing is I'm preparing for a certain situation that I may be faced with on the golf course. Um, we so often practice hitting irons from the practice tee with a flat lie. We practice hitting our driver uh, from a tee. We practice hitting a few fairway woods from a flat lie from the grass. But what we don't normally do is we don't normally think about what situations we're likely to encounter on the golf course and then try to get better at the shots that we're going to have to play when we get in those situations. When was the last time you practiced punching out of the woods? And then when was the last time you had to punch out of the woods? I will bet you of almost everybody watching this, most people have never even practiced punching a shot under a branch, yet they do it on a regular basis or they try to do it on a regular basis. So we want to be prepared for the situation that's going to come up. If you're a fan of other sports, if you like to watch football, as a matter of fact, there was a situation in the Super Bowl a couple years ago where the Atlanta Falcons had the lead and they were in a situation where if they can kick a field goal. They would put the game out of reach, and then they would, they, the, the New England Patriots would probably not be able to catch up. Falcons win the Super Bowl. But instead of going to make that play, instead they try to get a first down. They drop back to pass. Quarterback gets sacked. New England gets the ball, and the rest is history. Greatest comeback ever, right? So two things may have happened there. One thing may have been that they made the wrong call that they didn't want to leave the outcome of the game in the hands of a kicker, and so they went for it uh, on third down to try to throw a pass to get a first down. But there's something else that may have happened there that we'll never know about. And that's the thing to consider here in re regard to your golf game. Maybe the coaches did not feel that they could be successful on that field goal attempt. Maybe that was where they were at. Maybe they felt that they flat out felt more comfortable with and they could make, they can be successful throwing a pass to get a first down as opposed to trying to kick a field goal, which they didn't think would work. Okay? They have access to their preparation time and to their practice time. So, so do you. So we have to think along the lines of what is the best play for a situation and have we practiced for that situation? So here's some things I want you to think about. Are you practicing hitting irons? hybrids and fairway woods off the tee? Are you practicing punch out shots, hitting shots underneath branches? Are you practicing long putts from the fringe? Are you practicing your bunker shots, your greenside bunker shots? And are you practicing fairway bunker shots? So what I'd like you to do is the next time you play golf or think about your previous round of golf, write down a bunch of the situations you were in and you're not going to be able to help it when you look at it. Hey, have I, did I actually plan for any of these things? Have I practiced any of these shots? And if I did, did I play the shot I practiced? I'm not sure how that's going to come out. But I'll bet you that we could all do a better job of actually practicing for the set situations that we know we're going to get into on a regular basis. All right? So, boy, I really hope that helps you out. I know this isn't like an instructional video, how to do this, how to do that. But when it comes to putting it, turning in a good score and playing your best, you're not going to have your best round score-wise unless you also have your best round course management-wise. We'll see you next time.